Good morning, everyone. It's been a good minute since I vlogged. Hey, hey, I'm back. Maybe, we'll see. Um, at the salon currently, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Annalie Fiorino. I'm a hairstylist at Chaz Dean Studio, and I used to vlog a lot, but then I kind of stopped, because you know, life happens, and I'm here again, because you know, because why not, right? Plus, I got a new camera, so I'm trying that out. Um, busy day today, we're doing Claire's hair, and what else are we doing? A lot of haircuts, and then, yeah, so I'll try and vlog. It might be a little rough, because you know, it's been a minute, but we'll see and we'll try, right? Right, okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, so yesterday was a complete fail. Yeah, that was kind of rough. It's just so hard. I'm just kidding, I'm to it's totally not even hard. I'm being so melodramatic. But let's try this again. It's day two of trying to vlog. Um, you can do it, I believe in you. I, I, I believe in myself too, I could do it. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Wow, content. Well, that's the only thing I've done. And this is I have to vlog this. Oh, yeah, because the whole vlog I did of myself is going to be embarrassing. Because <laughs> I was just spinning in circles. Wow. Oh, wow. Not an extension inside. I can't do it. It's so long. It's so long. So has Anna significantly changed your life? She's making the world a better place, one head at a time. Anna's <laughs> so good. I've been like closing my eyes because I'm like, there's no makeup on the Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. You're vlogging. Are you like vlogging? How much content did you get acquired today? On what you just showed. <laughs> <laughs> Cue tomorrow's vlog beginning. I'm recording you. Right? What is that? This is, oh, wow. this is Jean and this is Jezebel. Yep. Okay. Jean loves Jezebel. Jezebel. <laughs> 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 Don't touch your eyes, silly. They're going to get itchy. You crazy? Crazy? Here, come here. Oh, you're doing part of the deal. Yeah, yeah. 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 We haven't vlogged in like forever. We have not vlogged in forever. We're gonna use our <laughs> vlogging voice. Um, I guess whisper. you got. You can't whisper. Oh, people are coming. Holy shit! God, fucking run. Why are we doing this again? I don't know. It's, it's so we have like. A new camera. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. What do you think of the store so far? The back's got so much furniture and junk you wouldn't believe it. So Jesse here is making us drive all around in circles, checking out like Popeyes, because I guess Popeyes just came out with like a new fried chicken sandwich. And it's selling out everywhere. So we just stopped by one right now. And there was no line and he went to go park and it was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the universe trying to tell you to not eat it. Going in. <laughs> We're so far from home right now. Um, we went to see Vincent DePaul. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Thrift store. Because I watch B. Jones Style Di Diary. Every time I watch her videos, her YouTube videos, it literally, that girl has like the most style ever. You guys should check her out. Every time I watch it, it inspires me. Like I've already gone thrift. I used to always go thrifty. And I still do. But like every time I watch one of her videos, it makes me want to go wherever she goes. Because she literally picks best things and I don't know if it's just her I think it's just her really I think she just has a vision but yeah we went there all the way here in Long Beach super far but it was totally worth it because you know why I found a lot of cute things we bought a giant planter back here it's in the trunk or in the back seat yeah so got distracted talking about Popeyes here I guess it's all over social media and like it's selling out everywhere so now it's just like an ongoing thing for Jesse to find this chicken sandwich I guess even you're... though he's on a diet 
Uh, you you just kind of made me re re uh, adjust my intention about the sandwich. I guess maybe I don't want it. Yeah, it's the maybe I'm just buying into the hype. You are. You know. It's the universe telling you not to eat it because you've also, lost five pounds. Yeah, but also it's kind of like a, you know, uh, watch out. Good versus bad, like good versus evil, because like it's people are saying it's much better than the Chick Fil A sandwich. We can't. I can't eat fried chicken. Right yeah. Now. He can't eat fried chicken. I mean, I can't. You can. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. You know. You're on a streak. You've lost five pounds. I've only lost two pounds, but whatever. Two hey, pounds is better it's than less no pounds. Than yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though today is our cheat day, we've been eating good for almost two weeks. Yes. So, which is tough. That's super tough to eat good all the time. But yeah, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, half a, half a fried chicken sandwich ain't gonna kill you. I don't yeah. know, I think if you're doing good, I don't think you should break it. I think you could have a cheat day, but like, don't go excessive on it. Okay, so it's a semi-cheat day? Yeah. Okay. It's a, we could go out to eat, but not eat bad. Okay. Oh, like speaking of, like, we, how long have we been doing this now for the past, how many months now? It's every been Sunday. About four or five months? Yeah, every Sunday we we would always do like a pizza date date night. Um, but I don't think we're going to have it tonight. <laughs> we're just going to have a date night. Yeah, we've been hitting up a lot of different like Italian slash pizza restaurants trying to go for more of a casual, not too fancy. But it's, it was kind of turning into fancy. Yeah, but I mean, there's some good ones out there. Uh, props to Cosa Buona and oh, Silver Lake. It's my so favorite. Good. Oh my so god, good. their mozzarella sticks. Ah, I can't eat it. <laughs> but I want it so good. And uh, what else is good? There's uh, um, that. What's, what's one of those fields that we go? Oh, uh, not little Fra little Frankie's is in our, is New York. What is it yes. called? Little Doms. Little Doms. That's another favorite. Little Doms. Not yeah. little. Yeah. Um, that's a good one. I was actually thinking of going there tonight. Let's do it. Okay. So yeah. Because that's not terrible for you. No. This is where I'm going? Yep. Yes. Okay. We'll talk more in a bit. He has to drive on the highway now. Bye. Bye. Come on, let's go to Earth Cafe. <laughs> nice running there, buddy. Nice running. All the food that we can't eat. <laughs> Jesse, do you want some jam? Invisible jam. No calories. No calories. That food shot. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm, I always do your food shot. Good morning, everyone. As you can tell, I'm here thrifting at St. Vincent de Paul. Jesse's shooting today, and um, I would have just been sitting around bored at home. So I figured I should go thrifting while I try out this new camera. Um, this place is huge. My goal is... So I'm going to edit right now. Okay, there's so much stuff here. It's ridiculous. I don't even know what time it is. I, I got here at, I want to say 10. It's now 11.44. I'm going to go try some of the stuff on. And then we'll see. This is a for sure. And not only that, it has shoulder pads. But yeah, all I did was 
Teile. Ich gucke. Hey guys, I'm back home now, and man, that's intense. Well, not really intense, it's just a lot. I literally went through almost every wrap, as in picking things, comparing this one to the one we went to yesterday, the St. Paul, wait, so St. Vincent, what is it even called? St. Vincent de Paul thrift store, I guess. That's how you say it, and I'm not quite sure. We went to the one in Long Beach yesterday and then the one today in LA, and I actually prefer the one in Long Beach. There's just a lot more vintage-y pieces, I would say, versus this one was just very Forever 21, H&M, just kind of more current. Overall, still pretty good, still pretty cool. It's a good time killer for sure. Um, I was there for like, I want to say maybe two hours, if that. They have a lot of furniture. They have a lot of a lot of furniture so if you're like looking for furniture that's i think a good spot to go check out at least a lot of junk <laughs> but um yeah just a lot of stuff i'll show you in a little bit i'm really really hungry right now because i left with just coffee okay so let's show you what i got it's time for the haul the first item i am going to show you today is a skirt look how cute this is this totally reminded me of a photo that I saw of Sofia Amoroso on Instagram. And there was this skirt that she had on and I was totally in love with it. And I tried searching everywhere for it because it was so cute. But she basically paired a skirt kind of like this with like a plain black like band t-shirt or like a Harley shirt. And I thought that was cute and I'm totally going to copy that. But yeah, this reminded me of the skirt that she had on. It's so cute. Um, haven't washed it yet. I'm going to, so I'm not going to try it on here. Um, but yeah, this was $5.99. Next item I'm going to show you now is this Contempo Casuals dress. I am, I'm, I'm always going to have a soft spot for Contempo Casuals because when I was younger, I used to work for Contempo Casuals. So yeah, I will always like it during like Clueless days. Remember Clueless, the movie? Yeah. So this is it. Very grunge, very 90s. Um, yeah, very cute. This was $6.99 and they were having a discount or a sale. This came out to, this came out to $3.50. Next item I'm going to show you is this top, this blouse. Um, literally, I don't know, I have a soft spot for like black and white with some color in there. Very cute, very 80s. I'm gonna get rid of the shoulder pads. This still has a tag on it, so it's never even been worn. This from the was from the Broadway. Anyone, you guys are all too young to remember that store, but it was basically a department store. <laughs> but yeah, very cute. Wear these with like high-waisted jeans or shorts and my cowboy boots, my new Golden Goose cowboy boots. That blouse was Does it really matter how much it is? Do you guys even care? This is $9.99 and 25% off, take away $2.50. So what? $9.87, like what? Seven bucks. Okay, next item is a dress. I don't know. Just, I, it's just a floral dress. But anytime I see these, I always have to try it on. And it's very flowy. I can wear it with sneakers. Wear a belt with it for sure. It needs a belt because it's too big. Um, and, and it'll show some shape. But yeah, this was $9.99 and, and another $2.50 off. So yeah, party, go me. Next item is this really see-through shirt. Very, very cute, very flowy, very awesome. But let's not try to say cute, shall we? <laughs> so, so I'm gonna say very awesome, just kidding. But yeah, this is a Liz Claiborne shirt. This was $7.99, and I believe this is also on discount. So this is only five bucks. I tied it around my waist just to give it some shape and to kind of modernize it. 
and I'm definitely gonna get rid of these shoulder pads. But you know, Isabel Moran is way into his shoulder pads right now. I don't know about it. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Maybe I, I might change my mind at some point, but right now I'm not. But I have the option with this little number because look, it buttons. How cool is that? Genius, you guys are genius. So yeah, so that top, this was $7.99 and take away $2. So five bucks. The next item I got is, and the last clothing item I got from this little thrift hunt was from Giorgio Armani. Can you imagine? You know, Jesse's probably gonna go, why would you get that? I go, well, cause it said Giorgio Armani, so I got it. <laughs> I'll make it work. <laughs> um, but it was actually pretty cute um, when I did try it on. And this is $7.99. This was not on sale, but $7.99 for Armani. Not bad, right? It's cute, cute. We, I, I could figure something out with this. I know I can. Probably wear it with like, I'm definitely going to dress it down. Probably with denim shorts. Probably. And my boots. Like a, yeah, maybe. Or even sneakers. Even when I had it on today, I had biker shorts with it and my sneakers and it was cute. So yeah, definitely. A score. I got this little wicker basket. I'm not sure why, but I like the tone of it, and it was only 79 cents. And then this one, I saw these, and I was like, "Oh my god, how cute are these!" And I was like, "Oh, it's so cute." I sent it to Jesse. He's like, "Oh, cute, right?" And there was actually two of them, so I just thought they were like little figurines, but they weren't. They turned out to be, I'll show you in one second what they are. They wrapped it all up. Be really funny if I all of a sudden just drop it. But look, you ready? How cute! They're salt and pepper shakers. Come on now. Yeah, they're pretty darling. I wish they were doggies, but like, you know, cute cats. And the tone's really pretty. So we got that, we got new salt and pepper shakers. Since we're show, I'm showing you my haul from today, I should show you what I got yesterday too because I never even really showed it. So awkward. Vlogging, vlogging and like thrifting, I don't know how you guys do it. You guys, I don't even know how I used to do it, but yeah, just gotta get the hang of it again, I guess. Um, yeah, let me show you this, some of the stuff I got yesterday. Okay, this is so cute. Come on, it just legitimately reminded me of like Ghani and like For Love and Lemons right now. But look at this. Yeah, and it pops sleeves. Cute. And this is real Angora and lamb's wool. Very cute. I'm gonna get this dry clean because I don't want to ruin it. Look at that color. I can't wait to wear it when it gets a little bit cooler here. But with my hair color, look. That's gonna look awesome. Another blouse. I don't know why. I feel like I'm su such a grown up these days. There we go. Just this little blouse. Look at the print. Be cute. Be cute. Yeah. This is four ninety nine. And that sweater. This sweater was three ninety nine. The prices are significantly different from the one in Los Angeles and then the one in Long Beach. I feel like the one in Long Beach, one, you find a little bit, look how cute, look at these two things. They're so different. Um, you find more vintagey pieces, at least, or maybe it was just when I went, the first time going to both of them, but just doing like a first impression, I guess you could say. The one in Long Beach, you f I feel like has more vintagey pieces that you'll find that'll make you a little bit more happy versus the one in Los Angeles where I felt like everything's just, I don't know, kind of like what you see at Goodwill a lot, you know, you know? And then it's just, and it's priced higher than the one in Long Beach. So take that drive if you guys live in Los Angeles. Actually, no, don't. Cause then you go, you, you will all pick through it and I won't find anything anymore when I go. Another item <laughs> I got there at the 
one in Long Beach is the skirt. Come on. Are you kidding me? Look at that print. Legit. This is so legit. It's perfectly pleated. Um, I'm also going to get this dry clean because I don't want to ruin it. And there's like some stains. Well, maybe not. There's a little bit of like stains there. I'm going to see if the guy could like remove it. If not, no worries. Our dry cleaner guy is pretty awesome. He, he could get rid of a lot of stains. So cute. That skirt was only $3.99. Next top is this. Come on, look at the details. Look at the collar. Look at the sleeves. Look, puff sleeves. Look at the print. So cute. This was also just, this was $5.99, but it's super cute. The last clothing item that I got is this right here. This is full on jumpsuit. Come on, they're shorts. I will be cuffing these because they're a little bit long, but this is from Liz Claiborne. Come on, so cute and they fit. Um, yeah, very cool, right? Um, also probably gonna get this dry cleaned. Maybe I don't have to, maybe I could just wash it. But yeah, this is cool. Jesse's kind of wondering how I'm gonna style this, but I think I'm not gonna have a problem styling this because it was really cute on. But yeah, it kind of reminded me of like the Made Well As Ever collaboration that I really wanted. There was like, well, I have a couple of that, the flight suits from that or jumpsuits from that collaboration, but there was one in specific, there's one specific one I wanted was the short version, but they never redid it. So couldn't find it anywhere. But yeah, this will do. Kind of reminds me of it. But yeah, cute. That's the last clothing item that I thrifted these last two days. That's a lot. And then Jesse thrifted this yesterday, this picture frame, real wood. Check that out. This was $4.99. And then he also got this item right here. Got a good deal out of it. Let me show you outside. It's already outside. And then Jesse got this planter from Z Gallery. We're going to put like a fiddle leaf fig up there at some point, maybe painting it. Not quite sure. I kind of like it how it is. So yeah, I think that originally retails for like $250 and he got it for like $30. Totally scored. Oh yeah. That's Jesse's best friend. That's his face. He's an artist. <laughs> he was doing a 3D mock-up of his face. But yeah, that's part. It was, yeah, never <laughs> long story but yeah cute so i hope you guys enjoyed our little vlog slash thrift with me thrift hauls um now i'm gonna go sort this and wash it and we'll see you guys in a bit well yeah <laughs>